everyone, I'm Sarah Alexander, Director of Education with Clinical Care Skin Solutions. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and what better time to talk about the signs of skin cancer, early detection, and prevention. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. More than 3.5 million forms of skin cancer affect over 2 million people every year. That number to me was amazing. Um, it's a devastating disease, but what's even more amazing is that this is preventive. And there are different steps that you can take to help to prevent skin cancer so that you don't have to experience and that your loved ones don't have to experience this. One in five Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancer every year. and when you think about five of your favorite people, five of your loved ones, the idea of losing somebody to skin cancer or, um, or knowing that this terrible disease can affect somebody, um, like I said, is devastating, but knowing that there are steps to prevent it is really uh, a call for action. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, is how to know um, what the signs of skin cancer are and how you can detect these. Uh, a couple years ago, I met a woman and she had um, been diagnosed with skin cancer. And she was a salon owner. And I was really curious to hear her story. So I wanna share the story with you because I think it's pretty fascinating. Um, I asked her where her skin cancer was and she was she was a little embarrassed and she said it was actually like on my on my booty. And I said, okay. I said, well, how did you know what to look for and how did you know that it was skin cancer? And she said it was actually my husband who brought it to my attention. And you know, he said, honey, you got something back there. It's starting, you know, it looks like it's starting to change shape. She put it off and she put it off and finally he said, uh, you need to go have this looked at. And sure enough, it was skin cancer. So if I could encourage you to do anything, um, check your skin, but also check your partner's skin, check your kids' skin. Um, there are areas of the body that sometimes we just don't look at. So um, here are the things that you're looking for. It's really simple. It's A, B, C, D, E. A is for asymmetry. Symmetry is balance. And when you're looking at moles or any type of discoloration on the skin, you're looking for something that is symmetrical. So it's balanced on each side. If you have a mole that's like this on one side and like this on the other side, obviously that's not symmetrical. If you draw a line through the middle of your mole, it should be balanced on each side. So it should look the same on each side. Like I said, if it's not balanced, it's time for you to have that looked at. So symmetry is very important. B is for border. Benign moles, which are moles that are um, safe moles, normal moles, uh, they should have an even smooth border. So if you're looking at a mole or um, a skin discoloration or uh, skin abnormally on your arm or on your leg, if you're noticing some scallops, some notching, some raggedness around the edges, there's your warning sign. It's time for you to call the dermatologist, call the doctor, and uh, schedule an appointment to have that looked at. C is for color, and your moles should be pretty even in color. Normally moles are a light tan or a light brown. If your mole looks tie-dye, if you have black and brown and blue and red and uh, all kinds of different colors going on, that's your warning sign. Um, your mole should not vary in color. If they do, um, it's time to have that mole looked at. So we talked about symmetry, we talked about border, and we talked about color. D is for diameter. And your moles should be smaller than the head of a pencil eraser. If they're larger than this, then it's time for you to get that mole checked out. So. Um, that's very important, the size or the diameter of the mole. The last one is E, and that's for evolving. If your mole is starting to take on some type of crazy shape, it's time to get it looked at. Um, evolving moles that start from something small and start to grow, if they start to itch, if they start to bleed, if they start to take, start to take on their own personality, it's time to get that checked out. Um, moles should stay um, the way they are. And uh, if they start to change, it's uh, time to schedule an appointment with that doctor. So 
check yourself out. Best time to do it is probably when you get out of the shower and um, make sure that you're looking all over the body. So, um, you know, different places like the backs of the legs. Um, also the ears, make sure you're checking out the ears, the back of the neck. Um, you might have to get in there, like I said, with your partner and kind of look around at their scalp. Um, skin cancer can really pop up anywhere. So early detection is very important because you can treat skin cancer if it's found early enough. But even before treating skin cancer, I want you to think about preventing it. And here are a couple products that will help to prevent skin cancer because skin cancer is caused by really two major things. And that's UVA, UV rays caused by the sun and uh, tanning beds. So those are two ways that you can prevent skin cancer. Limiting your exposure to the sun during the day, or if you're going to be out in the sun during the day, make sure you're wearing an SPF 30 sunblock. We have our SPF 30 sun shield, which is a fantastic sunscreen for people of all ages and all skin types. Um, the reason why I like the sun shield is because for me, um, it's really important that a sunscreen doesn't feel heavy on the skin, chalky on the skin, or clog my pores. And I really like the sun shield because I don't feel like I have this heavy, greasy mask of product on my skin. The SPF 30 that we offer is an SPF um, moisturizing sunscreen. It's going to block 98% of the danger, dangerous UV rays. So you're getting the maximum amount of protection. You're getting shea butter, avocado oil, and zinc oxide, which are three powerhouse ingredients that are going to not only protect the skin, but it's going to also help to um, really preserve the appearance of the skin. So the shea butter is going to help to moisturize that skin keep that skin looking healthy, supple, not dry, dehydrated, and leathery um, like sunburned skin looks. So this is a product that I use every single day. When I apply sunscreen, I apply it from here to here and right here too because um, suns, um, the sun can definitely affect your ears. Guys, girls with short hair, make sure you get the back of your neck and your shoulders too. Just because you can't see that skin doesn't mean that the, skin, the sun is not penetrating that skin. So make sure that you're keeping that skin protected. Another way that you can keep that skin protected is with our Restoration C. And Restoration C is a 15% vitamin C serum. And this is going to help to protect the skin from free radical damage. And the sun is one of them. So free and radical damage is sun, it's smoke, it's pollution. If you're working in an environment where there's chemicals around, such as a, a hair salon, um, all of those free radicals can accelerate the aging process. So I like the Restoration C because I only need to use it once a day. So I apply um, one to two pumps. Again, this product goes from here to here. This area needs to be protected too, so you don't want to have a really young, hot-looking face and a really old, wrinkly-looking neck and deglete. So make sure that you're applying your skincare from here to here. Your Restoration C is a 15% vitamin C, and that's one of the highest concentrations on the market. The type of vitamin C that we use is sodium ascorbyl phosphate. It's the best vitamin C that we can put in a, pro in a product. It's a stabilized form of vitamin C. So what that means is when it comes to you, it's at its maximum potency. Uh, another thing that I like about the Restoration C is it comes in a pump. So the product comes out, nothing goes in that product. So there's no air um, that gets absorbed into that product. So it keeps that product um, like I said, at its maximum potency. Um, this is going to make your skin feel brighter, tighter, and more luminous. We just got back from Mexico, and um, I noticed that if I'm out in the sun too long and I'm not diligent about putting on my sun-protecting products, I will start to get some discoloration around the forehead. And one of my friends, she just got back from Mexico too, and she said, Sarah, what do I do about these dark spots? This is it. This is your skin protecting serum to help to protect your skin from UV damage and um, the hyperpigmentation that can be caused by the sun. So these are my two favorite products. You can find these products uh, at your favorite salon. You can message me if you're looking for a salon. I will definitely put you in touch with a licensed professional that help, 
can help prescribe you these products. You can also find us at clinicalcareskinsolutions.com. If you have skincare questions, if you have skincare challenges, please message me. You might be my next great topic for my next video. And don't forget the early detection signs of skin cancer. The A, B, C, D, and E's. Symmetry, border, color, diameter, and evolving. Take care of your skin and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.